Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello. My name is Julian. And my name is Meg, and we play in a band called the Road Atlas. We are live from Above Nambuka. We are your hosts tonight, and you are watching Lightning, Lightning Struck. Struck. Um, we are raffling. We're doing a raffle for a Road Atlas t-shirt. So this is the back, and that's the front. And we're uh, shipping it to anywhere in the world, wh whoever wins the raffle. The raffle is two pounds so it's throughout the entire episode uh, whoever like uh, donates two pounds we will get a notification um, and we'll put that name into a hat and then at the end of the show we will take out one name and that person will win a Rhode Atlas t-shirt <laughs> and Rob first so we got um, Diablo first on in a little bit Rob is watching uh, you guys are in for a treat uh, they are very funny. Their their show, their live show is amazing, and you can definitely feel that energy in the video that they're about to show later today. Um, so, yeah, do you want to keep introducing the guests? Yes, we're gonna have a uh, booty B and malas palabras. Yes, but uh, uh, we are gonna start with uh, Blatu Idea. Yes, booty V is um, showing. It booty V is a video uh, editor editing company, and they are uh, showing their video that they did for a really cool artist called. L to wave, excuse me. Um, so yeah, back to Blatu Idea. Yeah, Blatu Idea, I'm very happy to introduce them tonight. Uh, they are a street punk band uh, since 2008, uh, and they've been playing shows and festivals uh, across the UK, Europe, and uh, also Japan. Uh, everything about Blatu Idea is awesome. Uh, from the live shows, they are like a bomb of energy. Uh, the lyrics are uh, punch in the face to make up your mind and the artwork of the albums they are incredible and uh, they are uh, done from Manu the lead singer uh, his page is called Manu Infected Art on Instagram yes here it is um, he is an amazing artist um, so yeah check them out too um, and uh, yes we're gonna have them introducing their uh, video which uh, actually came out on Tuesday uh, which is called Without Warning and they're gonna be with us uh, to tell us a little bit more about the video. Their video is like a fucking movie. It's yes. ridiculously good production. <laughs> you uh, you guys are in for a treat. Um, yes. so oh, yeah. the, the video has been made from London Filmmaker. Also. London Filmmaker. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, fucking rad. Enjoy. It's very cool. Hi everyone, we're Blitz with you. And uh, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is safe. And we're very happy to show your new video that came out on this Thursday. It's from uh, our album uh, Quarantine. So please let us know what you think about it on the comments below. Thanks to Meg and the other guys and uh, hope everyone's gonna have a great weekend. Cheers. Just on the first day morning with a warning Warning Well they that can prove that to be after you with a knowing Baby know it Bring it up baby just on the first day morning
amazing, guys. <laughs> Isn't it rad? Like, it's crazy how, like, the entire, like, the, the setting of the video and the props with, like, syringes, like, popping, like, green liquid and shit. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, Again, it's been from Blato Idea, a London filmmaker, so go check them out. So we're going to play about, like, a minute and a half of a song, and you guys will have some time to type away and let us know how you guys have been coping with COVID. So enjoy. All right, cool. We have a couple of good ones. So we got Bridget saying Pokemon Go. <laughs> Any excuse to get you walking, huh? Walking out of the house. It is a good excuse to like, walk out of the house. Um, I don't play it, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm stuck. Pokemon stuff, I'm stuck into my Game Boy Pocket that I had, I had when I was like 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. Like with this blue and red. That was the only one I had. <laughs> so, um... Jamal says, drinking, smoking, rocking out, and pissing off the neighbors. <laughs> Fair enough, brother. Good job. <laughs> I've seen, uh, if you, you guys should go, like, go check out Jamal's Facebook page. It's really funny. Uh, him and Beth from Blue Carpet Band and uh, Beth Stad are doing these awesome uh, sessions of like just them like playing rock and roll songs, and it's very cool. Yeah, they're um, amazing. Coping with COVID or roving with COVID? I'll see my, myself out. <laughs> Cheers, Momo. Um, Main Lining Beach. Bleach. Ah, yeah, go ask uh, Trump, dude. Um, <laughs> Tiger King, Marcelo says. No, don't want that. <laughs> I, I fucking already. hate that show. <laughs> I've been watching... I've been watching... Uh, uh, I've been watching uh, The Walking Dead, and it's fucking addictive ass shit. It's like... You watch one episode and you have to watch the like at least three more. It's ridiculous. Which like reminds me like the uh, the, the the like the whole like Walking Dead aesthetic really reminds me of the Black Video video. <laughs> Maybe yeah. It's super cool. <laughs> Which like how how do you guys how do you meet how do you Black Idea meet? Me. Uh, Black Idea we go back to 2011. Because it's basically the first people I met when I moved to London. Which was what, 2011, uh, you said? I yeah, I moved to London 2011. Wow, nine years nine ago. Nine years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been knowing these guys for a long time. They're good old friends. Um, yeah, Manu, Carlo and Jaco. Uh, I met them, I think, the first time I've seen them playing. It was at the Unicorn in Camden. And then I met Andrea, the drummer, in 2013, 14. I had the pleasure to play with him a couple of times in the rehearsal room and uh, I can easily say that he's one of the best drummers that I've ever had the pleasure to play with. So Brad. Good job, guys. And uh, yeah, since then, um, I, I, I hardly missed a show of Plateau Idea in London, honestly. And every time I was going, they were telling me all the things that were happening to them in tour around the world. Uh, and it was always a, 
great fun. They are great uh, friends and lovely people. Well, you, you guys saw the video and um, do like check him out on Spotify and and YouTube. Like all the other videos are very rad, like very intensely and like insanely well produced. Um, they are on the Spotify playlist, um, which I will post a link again. It is in the comments already, but I will post another link to the Spotify playlist so you guys can check it out also. All right, rad. So... So what um, have you been doing to cope with COVID? I've been watching. <laughs> I've been watching The Walking Dead. And that's it. Uh, I've been watching The Walking Dead. I've been. Um, I've been skateboarding in my apartment, which is very small. Um, how how the hell did you manage to do that? Mm, we don't know. Okay, let's do um, the secret. Yes. So like uh, trying to like skateboard, like doing the least amount of noise as possible. Okay. Um, well, I watched some, some stuff as well, but for college, I'm studying for my project and I have to, I have to research in a project about food and how food uh, affects life, uh, health and everything. So I've been watching documentaries with various tests and uh, research about the food and the effect of food on the brain. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, like, as a good rule of thumb. Okay. No, I think uh, now it's time for Diablo First. Nice. <laughs> so Diablo First is a post-punk noise pop, pop and roll. <laughs> I love pop and roll. Uh, it's very fun. Yeah, it's a band from Nottingham. And uh, they have been making people move their feet and shaking their booties <laughs> since 2014. Uh, they've been playing to various uh, show and festival, included Rebellion Festival. And uh, they've been playing for Indigo Bravo promotion with Steve Isles and an alternative gathering with Andy Cavendish. And uh, we played together uh, in a night organized by Nina uh, and Phil. Um, yeah, by Healthy for, Junkies. Yeah, Punk and Roll Rendezvous at the Unicorn. It was a great night. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, their music it just brings you back to late 70s, early 80s vibe. So I think we should check them out as we have a Rob and Susie with us. And uh, yeah, it seems like they're having a great time over yeah. there. Like we, we heard their song earlier today and we've been singing it the whole afternoon. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. It's very cool. You need to listen to that. Um, so yeah, enjoy and have a drink with Diablo Force. Right, okay. okay. Hello! Hello! How are ya? Good to see ya. Not that we can see ya. Good to hear ya. And I haven't heard you either, but there you are. <laughs> Hello! So, here we are, in our lockdown palace, Furs HQ. Hey! Dun, 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 <laughs> da -da. Yes. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I hope you're all having a, a good lockdown. I bet you're all bored shitless by now. You've written every fucking song you can write. You've fucking rode your bike down the stairs. You've jumped off the fucking <laughs> roof into a tin bath. We've done all that. So we just want to get back out there and, you know, just, yeah, have a fucking good time again at some point, yeah. you know. Hopefully mm. so. Yeah. When are the pubs open? That's what we want to know. When are the pubs open? Yeah. When can we rehearse again? When can we play again? Mm. Oh, God. All of that. But we're here tonight too, so you can see our video that we made for Fuck All uh, and a bit of editing from some Top of the Pops episodes. We haven't been sued by the BBC yet, but the night is still young. <laughs> so <laughs> <Hope you're laughs> we're expecting a letter any day now. But there you go. And it's off this album, which is uh, Neon Satellites. This is a mock-up, by the way. Well, it'll look better than this, as you can see. Well, it's it a does look better than this. Yeah, as soon yeah. As it comes out. And there you are, Chaser Beats first track. It's on Neon Vinyl with a free CD. What a fucking bargain! Bargain. You can so buy it online. Like shit, now that's a bargain, isn't it? That's a fucking. Bargain. Oh, I'd buy it. Yeah, I'd buy it. Jesus In Christ! Fact, I have. <laughs> Get out there. You have bought it. Yeah, I have bought it as well. So, what more approval could you need? We've bought our own record. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, but let's hype it into the charts. <laughs> We'll have, to, we'll have to buy at least five more to get it in the top ten, I think. That'll be 15 copies. That should get us in the top ten nowadays. There you go anyway. So, anyway. brilliant to be here. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Rola, to yeah, us for yeah, inviting us. Yeah, we appreciate us. it, Lance. And we hope we can Thank play you. with you all soon. Yeah, yeah, and we hope to see you soon. And so, we'll, uh, yeah, drink wine, and all listen that. to music, drink. and be merry. Yeah, all Cheers, that. Cheers, everybody. Don't give a fuck. Enjoy here we go. the beat. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Communication I've gotta chase the 
We're gonna sing this song for like the next two weeks. Come on, feel <laughs> the beat. Chase the beat. Chase the beat. <laughs> Fever. It's very cool. I love that song. Um, so yeah, very fun band. Check them out. Um, uh, we would love for you guys to watch it. We are about to show you the official music video for it. Um, and we're very stoked about it. It's also on the Spotify playlist. And I will... I will type in the logo, I mean the Spotify playlist link uh, during the during the, the video. So uh, if you enjoy it, please go ahead and click in the link and follow the Spotify playlist. Follow the Road Atlas on Spotify and we hope you enjoy it. Is there anything else? Oh, is there anything you want to say about the video? Uh, well, the video has been, uh, it's basically like a mix of um, footage that we done last year when we were... Uh, UK mini tour that we've done last summer so like yeah it's basically us in the car traveling around meeting people um, also I think some parts are in the show that we played in uh, Northwich with the, the tequila yeah, bar yeah the tequila bar <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then we had a show at the Victoria Bikers Club where we were drinking again <laughs> yeah and then a few of the clips from the last gig that we played before COVID-19 Oh, yeah. Are ended up in the video as well. Um, so, yeah, there's like a little bit of everything. Uh, a little bit of. My goldfish. Yeah, Meg's goldfish in the video. It's the, yeah. Eddie. the star of the video. Yeah, Eddie. but he, he died. Uh, it's not with us anymore. Sorry, Meg. Yeah, this is for Eddie. All right. <laughs> Cheers for Eddie. And hope you guys like the song. Check out the Spotify playlist, please. And the Road Atlas on Spotify. Um. Let me see, here it is, enjoy.
Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the Spotify link is in the comments. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested. Hope you guys are liking it. If you're liking us and the show itself and um, the guests so far, please go ahead and donate any money that you would have spent in a club on a Saturday night or a Saturday afternoon, whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, help us keep the art scene alive. And supporting events. Yeah, for sure. So, next guest? Yeah, next guest is going to be Malas Palabras. Malas Palabras. Did I spell it right? Yes, you did. <laughs> Good. Um, Malas Palabras is a band from Costa Rica. This is Costa Rica's national beer. Um, so, yeah. I think you gave me a t shirt. I did. Imperial. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It's very, su like, summery. Um, and yeah, so. Um, Malas Palabras is a really dope, kind of like old school punk rock band. Um, kind of like very Ramones y slash um, Screeching Weasel. Yeah, I hear quite um, a lot of Screeching Weasel in so there. So it's like. <laughs> uh, for those of you who, got, who you guys. For those of you who didn't know, like. Ramones didn't want to be a punk rock band. They wanted to be like a pop band that ended up like just playing way faster than they were supposed to and ended up creating this like genre called punk rock. Um, uh, and I think Malas Palabras is a very good representation of what Ramones had in mind. Um, they're very cool. Uh, Gabe, the, the, the main singer called He Dos, uh, how we call him in Costa Rica, uh, he's this like really funny character, like really intense dude who's awesome. And I've known him since, I was, since I'm a kid. And he like we we went to the same high school together. He was like five years older than than me and my brother. And uh, I remember like every time we would like go into the bus, like he would be like in the shotgun seat, uh, like co-pilot, like playing music. And he was always playing either Ramones or The Misfits or. Uh, or the Ramones or the Misfits or Ramones or Misfits but it kind of made it fun to go to school it was awesome yeah <laughs> and then he was he was a massive bully too so he would bully everybody who didn't <laughs> like punk rock which is pretty cool um, so yeah uh, uh, he taught me a lot about punk rock and I think I'll forever be grateful for that uh, so cheers Hillos um, so yeah uh, anything else I think that's it like the You'll see the video that he's about to introduce is very dope. Uh, it was all filmed in a volcano in Costa Rica, uh, which is very gnarly. Um, so, enjoy. Malas Palabras. Hi, guys. This is Gabe uh, from Malas Palabras. I'm really happy to be in Lightning Strike. And, um, yeah, this is my house over here in Costa Rica. And um, it's a pleasure to be on the show. The, we're going to be presenting today uh, the new single, of our second LP, which came out uh, at the beginning of April. Uh, the single is called Cuando Desarmas Todo. We recorded with uh, Marcos Monerat uh, this uh, new album, which is a, a renowned Costa Rican producer. And uh, we uh, recorded it at the beginning of the year for three or four days. Uh, this is a new uh, uh, album of ours that we've been producing for a year. And we're very, very glad to share it with everyone. You can listen to it on Spotify or go to uh, uh, our Bandcamp uh, or look it up at i iMusic at the iStore. And uh, basically, we play some uh, good old uh, fashion punk rock. And in this uh, new release, uh, we're experimenting with a little bit of other genres in uh, punk rock. Anoche corrí y entre la maleza, la oscuridad cubierta de neblina, indecisión y frío me hizo retortar. Anoche corrí entre la maleza, la oscuridad cubierta de neblina. Decisión y frío me hizo recordar al fondo del precipicio. 
So cool. Um, I really like the location. What what volcano is it? Yeah, it's it's a volcano called um, Irazu volcano. Um, so like it's very it's kind of strange because Costa Rica. It looks cool. There's a descent on on the floor on the ground. It's weird. Yeah. I thought it was a beach. I thought it was. Yeah, me too. I thought it was a beach, <laughs> and then I saw the volcano crater, which I recognized. I was like, Are you guys like jumping from the beach to the volcano? And then, <laughs> uh, hello. So I was like, No, we're like the whole thing is done in a volcano. Um, so this this volcano here is so like Costa Rica is like this like tiny country and has a beach in both sides, and then like the middle of the country is like run by like a, a strip of mountains and volcanoes. That and there's like one of the one of the most popular volcanoes. Uh, they can go and like see the crater and stuff. It's very gnarly, very cool. It looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, malas palabras means curse words. So check them out. Fucking rat, thanks for being with us. All of you guys, eh, Malas Palabras, um, Diablo First, and Blatter Dia. Fucking rad. And eh, in a bit, we have eh, Boo TV, who did a very, very cool video by, eh, w for a song from an, an artist called Elta Wave. So stick around. But before we show you guys that video, we are going to have a little segment that we do that is called Questions. So it is a time for you guys to ask us any questions that you might want to know about us. Ask away. Come 
All right, we got some really good ones. Uh, first one is five top albums for both of you. Meg, when I go first and I'll go after. Okay, uh, does it have to be in order or no? Like, they're my favorite, they're my favorite. They're so, the top five. Okay, so well, Dookie from Green Day, of course, and then, well, I love Punkin' Drablik, No Effects, and uh, Blunder and Blunder of the Muffs, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, who else? Uh, um, I have so many in my mind. Hicks Neon the Ombre from cool. um, Offspring. That's five. Uh, that's five? Yeah, I, really I think so. No, I think I missed one. Okay, go. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, Care Plank from Green Day again. Cool. <laughs> but for sure there is many others. There is, of course. Yeah. But like right now, top, top, of, like, top of mind. Yes. Um, my like top of mind, top five albums would be um, Out Came the Wolves by Rancid. Um, London Calling by The Clash, for sure. Um, I would do The New Wave by Against Me, for sure. Uh, fuck, who else? Um, the 59th Sound by Gaslight Anthem. Uh, and Indestructible Rancid. As oh, well. why I didn't think about it? Yeah. Yeah, can I join in that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Good. Um, how long has the band been together? Uh -huh. So the I question for you. I, I, <laughs> yes, I started the band five years ago, which is crazy. But I started it in Costa Rica, uh, and I like I did an album in Costa Rica uh, with some local musicians, some like great musicians actually. They all play in a band called The Movement in Codes, and they're absolutely rad. Um, hope we can have them uh, one of these weeks. But after that, I moved to London, and then I started the like. Keep, like, like I kept going with the band in London and I kept finding musicians uh, where like Fab, our former drummer joined and then uh, a couple of years after Meg joined. Uh, you've been with us two years now. Yeah, two. Crazy, time flies. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I think uh, Meg is like the, f the first like solid bass player that we've had uh, and hopefully it will stay that way. Of course. Yes. <laughs> of course. A lot, a lot of things happened in the last few years, yes. to be honest. So, yeah, it seems like there are many more yeah. that has to happen yet. So, so, yeah, in us two, in a band, we've been for two years, which is very cool. Yeah. It feels like a long time and it feels very solid. Uh, what's the first thing that you're going to do when the lockdown is lifted? What are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, I have, I have a lot of things to do. I have to finish college, I have to One do One thing, stuff. You're like, you can leave and go anywhere you want. I'm going to LA. <laughs> going to LA. <laughs> I'm going to LA, yeah, for sure. California Sun. Yeah. What's the Ramon song? Uh, you're having, having fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. wrong, California mm -hmm. Sun. Yeah. 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 Um, what I would do is, so like, um, they just opened this like fake wave pool in Bristol. That's like really cool, like wave, like surf waves. And I really miss surfing, so I think the first thing that I would do is um, drive up to Bristol uh, with Bridget and fucking surf the shit out of the wave for like a whole day. <laughs> That's a very good plan. Yeah, yeah, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, and Hopefully yeah. the weather will be nice like it's been when we're in, indoors. Um, what's another one? So Lella is asking what song would you choose for your next video? Ah oh, yeah, so okay, we wrote this really cool song um, called uh, "Digging Graves" or "Coffin 19." Coffin as in like a, a, a casket. A a casket, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so I think that would be a very cool video to do. I had an idea the other day. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be like awesome. When you say I have an idea, the ground is shaking. <laughs> So it's like, I was like walking around the city with masks, but the masks, I hope nobody steals this idea. The masks <laughs> are green screens. So okay. like they're just, they're green. So like we've got like green masks and yeah. we can project anything into the green masks. Okay, that sounds So you cool. can do like zombie mouths or like uh, Dracula mouths or like our own mouth singing or like all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. I think that'll be, that'll be a cool concept. Yeah, that um, sounds good actually. <laughs> Uh, what's another one? Bob is asking, what's the dumbest thing you did during this lockdown? <laughs> yeah. Jay, I don't know, I don't do dumb things, so I, it doesn't apply to me. What's the dumbest thing that I've done during lockdown? <laughs> uh, 
Well, actually, I did, but I didn't do it on purpose. What? Um, well, no, actually, I just I just cut my finger while I was chopping an avocado. That's very dumb. <laughs> that is pretty dumb, but it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, so we right. spend a lot of time at home, so like you, you're bound to do house dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Felipe is asking, what song was hell to put together? Um, I was fist fighting life, man. <laughs> yeah, we have this song called Fist Fighting Life. And it's a very like intricate groove with like a lot of upbeats and uh, like syncopated rhythms and stuff. And uh, like the the guitar, like the two guitars are like following one groove and the drum and the bass are following com like the complete opposite of a groove. And like if we play them really tightly, it works really well. But if we're slightly off, it doesn't work at all. Um, so that was a hell to, like, to get together and like, yeah. practice. Cause, like, Record when, it. Yeah, like when <laughs> we were rehearsing it, like we were playing it and we were playing it sort of okay. I was like, is it actually working or is it a shit song? And <laughs> we would never know this because all of us, like everybody in the band has mixed feelings about this song. Yeah. <laughs> so. We don't know, but yeah, I think it's a it's a good song like in its core, but it's very difficult to execute. So yeah, that's that's that song. Um, that's the link for the for the raffle. But yes, so a, a, a few weeks ago, uh, we hosted uh, Poly Pick Pockets, which is, which is a really cool uh, kind of like grunge rock uh, London bass band. Yeah, um, we say hi to all of them. Yeah, and the the video that they presented was done by Boo TV. Uh, which is absolutely rad and uh, Becky is a really really clever videographer and like she uses a bunch of like out of, like out of the box elements that really work together to enhance w what the song is and like it makes the song like just pop out and like everything like all the videos that she does are like super cool and in this case um, Becky is interviewing an artist called Elta Wave uh, and they work together to uh, do a video for her song Dancing in the Rain. So it is very interesting. The song is beautiful, uh, beautiful melodies, and most like more than anything, the like the video helps the song so much and like just like yeah, kind of complement yeah, each complement other, yeah. they complement each other so well, and it is very 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 cool. Um, so we are stoked to have them. So right now you'll see Becky introducing Elta Wave and then you will be delighted with their video Dancing in the Rain. Hi, I'm Elta Wave, a singer-songwriter and next to me... I'm Becky, I'm from Boo TV and I'm a videographer. Dancing in the Rain, what a video. Wow, you did a great job there. We took the whole day in a studio and I was just dancing and dancing and dancing while you were filming around. Uh, we experimented with the curtain lights and, and different angles with the shadows because we wanted it all to be quite mysterious and dark. But then um, with your amazing editing, you added a few snaps of ecoactive um, imagery. That was the message, like we can dance in the rain as long as we do something about it. Cause yeah, we really need to get moving on that. <laughs> I worked with another friend of mine as a choreographer. Um, her name is Jessica Danza, and she's a dancer. Cool. And yeah, we just met at my house, and we just started like dancing and doing all kind of different things. What could be here? What could be there? For about five hours, we charted out. Okay, here you do the spin. Here you do that. Um, so in the day, I would be really ready for it and. Yeah, you were, yeah, you were well rehearsed with the choreography before we even yeah. shot the video. It was cool. Did you always like know that like you wanted like a silhouette choreography thing? Because you came to me with yeah. the idea. Yeah, you know, no, that was the idea in the beginning of the silhouette dancing and the imagery splashes. Actually, when I met you, I remember that was one of our first conversations. Yeah, because. You went, you said, I do visuals. You do visuals? <laughs> just come <laughs> over here and help me with my visuals. And you just did amazing. Um, yeah, we, just, we met randomly as well, didn't we? It was like, 
I think it was yeah, a, it all came together and that night in the friend. bar you just met completely randomly. Yeah. Yeah. You crossed, you crossed. Yeah. yeah. And then you told me the story. You kind of had the idea for the video already, and then it just, and then we made it. Yeah, because you were the missing piece of it. You were the <laughs> last bait that I needed. So, we, oh, visuals. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think it has about 2,000 views at the moment, but that doesn't really matter because I just feel like we did say something and we did do something that ages from now I'm going to look back at and I'm going to be like, this is me at that time and those are the feelings that I was feeling when I was stuck somewhere and I couldn't do whatever I wanted and I couldn't dance and here I am in this video dancing it out and just being there and the general feeling when I wrote the song was that I was very alone in the world um, mm. which dancing in the rain proves you you're not eventually <laughs> um, yeah and that's something we need to keep on thinking about that we are not alone in the world and we're not just humans or just like you know this species and then we have the other species and then we brought the imagery to represent that yeah the world around us and that is a good message i think for everyone at the moment that we're not alone not alone <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so the video Dancing in the Rain is on YouTube. You can check it out down in the link below or above or wherever it is. Um, we are really grateful for anyone who's watching it. Favor it, subscribe, whatever you can do. Check it out. Let it go, let it go You've been here before All the nerves are burned You can't feel that anymore There you go I keep floating Never knowing where I'll be If I keep on chasing up That same old melody so I'm dancing in the rain and chasing my heart as we move through the light just to hide. I change it and wake up now, shake off the stars as you never knew was
Yeah. That isn't that so very cool, isn't it? it yeah. Dela was loving it, and a bunch of people were loving it. It's, it's very, very, very well produced. Yeah. Um, amazing song and amazing video, both of them. Yeah. Uh, I love the like how Becky like uh, blended all the different like animal f footage with like just like different colors and different uh, textures and stuff. It was very, very creative, very cool. Yeah, definitely. All right. So finally, we got a. Uh, yeah, I, I was uh, going to say, like, uh, check check it out, the YouTube channel and the Facebook page of Boot TV. Yes. Where uh, not only you can find this video, but also a video from Polypic Pockets, if you missed it. And uh, um, there is an interview with various bands like your mom and uh, Avoid. So, like, definitely have uh, a look to the YouTube page and the Facebook page of Boot TV. Yes. And uh, also, Spotify playlist, which I am about to share right now <laughs> now you'll you'll get it actually in like 10 seconds but sort of close okay. enough close enough so um it's time to do the raffle the raffle winners yeah but before that uh, I would I would like to sorry <laughs> I would like to remind uh, that uh, uh, they can support all the artists that we've been showing tonight and I want to uh, say thank you for all of us uh, to La Tuidia, Diablo First and uh, Malas Palabras, Malas Palabras and, 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 and Elder Wave as well yeah of course um, so yeah now we can go on yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um, so yeah so the winner will win this t-shirt and the raffle is for our Spotify release for our song Lightning Loud in the Fast Lane. Uh, if you dig it, we will love it if you follow the Road Atlas um, and hit like download and um, just the little heart on the Spotify. Uh, that really helps us like bring uh, numbers out, numbers up, and like reach more people. So, is there anybody else? No? For what? For the raffle? Or we, like we're done? I think we I think we have we all have the yeah. all the submissions. Yeah. So so you guys see that we're not cheating. We have all the different <laughs> names in the in the hat. And I'm gonna shake him, I'm gonna shake him, I'm gonna shake him. And then Meg Meg Yeah, yeah. Do like Okay. One round, one round, like go around, <laughs> another one, another one, another one more, one more. Man, one more. I'm already drinking. One more, one more, <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Okay. Oh man, okay, got it. Yeah. Should I see? I man, now my head is spinning. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Um, okay. Mark Rocca. Mark, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so. Congratulations. <laughs> Mark uh, is the winner for the Road Atlas t shirt. So, you probably can't read that, but it's Mark Rocca. <laughs> yeah, I wrote it with my horrible. Calligraphy, how do you say? It's a lot better than mine. <laughs> so yeah. I'm sure it is. Brother, we'll be sending you this shirt. Um, whichever size you want. So thanks again to all of you guys for for tuning in and watching and supporting the show. And supporting the bands. Supporting the bands. Uh, Thank you. Much love, seriously. Um, we are doing this to keep us running as well as the the art scene running and like keep people sane hopefully bring you guys a little bit of joy in a saturday evening um you know like make it a bit more social make make your house feel like a, like you're actually at an event yeah and um, bring some amazing bands together yeah yeah <laughs> uh, yes like we've been really lucky we, but we've had really awesome uh videos and, yes. and songs yes I would Every like to week. say thank you to everybody that participated so far. In the previous weeks as well. Yes. This is our, our fifth episode. Uh, uh, to be honest, like when we did when we first I came out with the idea, I wasn't sure how long it's gonna it was gonna last. Yeah. And and I didn't even think it was gonna last five episodes. But thank you guys for like for all the support. It's been really cool. Where's my vodka? Where is your vodka? Right there. Oh. Hey hey yeah. I think that's good. So, 
again, thanks for all of you guys uh, for tuning in. Thanks to all the bands. Thanks, um, Plato Idea and Malas Palabras. Thanks, Diablofers and Boo TV. And of course, Elta Wave. It's been a very fun show. We've enjoyed it a lot today. Um, and I guess like as we get a bit more comfortable with the technology and uh, we're not like messing up every 20 minutes, we can like actually enjoy it a bit more. So we hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And if you are, we will see you guys next week. Um, make you ready? I need to change this. <laughs> but this song is called Out Came the Wolves. And it's called like that because I was born when Out Came the Wolves. One, two, one, two. Next week we're gonna have Alice is sleeping, which I'm very happy, uh, and uh, we still have to sort it out. But uh, um, I think also we'll be with us Monkey Mind. So, so Monkey Mind is with members of the Toy Dolls, which is a legendary punk band. So it'll be very fun. It's gonna be a very like outrageous episode, I think. At least it's panning out to be. So stay <laughs> tuned. We will see you guys next week. Thanks again to everybody who tuned in and thanks to all the bands that participated in this episode and the previous episodes um yeah we will see you guys soon much love stay safe stay um rad and mark will send you the t-shirt